In today's explainer, we are tackling one of the biggest debates in the design world, AutoCAD versus SketchUp. We're going to break down everything, their core philosophies, key features, and of course, the price, to help you figure out which tool really belongs in your toolbox. At the end of the day, it all boils down to this single question. You've got two absolute giants in the industry, both for computer-aided design, but they are built on completely different philosophies. One is all about technical precision, a real powerhouse. The other is the champion of intuitive, easy modeling. The real question is, which approach is the right one for you and your work? So first up, we have AutoCAD, and you gotta respect the history here. It launched way back in 1982. It basically created the digital drafting table as we know it. For decades, it's been the absolute gold standard for creating hyper-precise 2D technical drawings. And its native file format, the DWG, became the universal language for engineers and architects. It's the bedrock of professional design. And then in 2000, its challenger, SketchUp, entered the scene. The big thing that made SketchUp famous is just how incredibly easy it is to use. It was designed from day one to just make sense. It's got that iconic push slash pull tool that literally lets you turn any flat shape into a 3D object with a single click. And because of that, it's become a massive favorite for architects, interior designers, and really anyone who just needs to get ideas out of their head and into 3D fast. Okay, so now that we know who the contenders are, let's put them side by side. We're gonna dive right in and do a head-to-head -head comparison of their core features. Let's call it a toolbox takedown. Let's start with the very first thing you see, the user interface. AutoCAD's interface really reflects its power. It's dense. You've got toolbars, ribbons, a powerful command line. It's all built for pros. The learning curve is pretty steep, but once you're over it, you can do incredible things. SketchUp is the complete opposite. It's clean, it's simple, and it's designed to get you from a blank screen to a 3D model in just minutes. And this right here perfectly shows what SketchUp was all about. The workspace isn't scary. It's practically an invitation to start creating something. This minimalist approach means that new designers can get up and running in a matter of days, not weeks or months. And that's a huge, huge advantage. And you know, that ease of use has a massive real-world impact. Just listen to this quote from a cabinet maker on Reddit. For crafts like woodworking or custom furniture, all the power of AutoCAD's 2D drafting is less important than being able to quickly model and visualize a 3D product. For this person, SketchUp was just the better tool for the job. Simple as that. This really brings us to the fundamental difference between the two. AutoCAD is the undisputed king of 2D. It is purpose-built for creating flawless technical drawings, the actual blueprints that get things built. SketchUp, on the other hand, its heart and soul is in the third dimension. Now, you can produce 2D documents with its companion app layout, but its main strength is fast, intuitive 3D modeling. So the workflow in SketchUp is famous for being just so simple. You can import a 2D plan, maybe when you made an AutoCAD, or just draw one from scratch. Then the magic happens. You use that push-pull tool to pull your flat shapes up into a 3D structure. From there, you just start adding the details like furniture and textures. The whole thing feels less like you're drafting and more like you're sculpting with digital clay. But you know, software doesn't exist in a bubble. To really get the full picture, we have to look beyond just the core tools. We need to look at the entire workflow and the ecosystem that surrounds each program from rendering to component libraries. A question that comes up all the time is how do you get those beautiful photorealistic images? Well, the truth is neither program is amazing at this right out of the box. Both of them really rely on third-party plugins or separate software. SketchUp has a bit of an edge here for most people because of its super seamless integration with popular rendering engines like V-Ray and Enscape. AutoCAD's strength is that it plays really well with its siblings in the Autodesk family connecting easily to powerful tools like 3ds Max. And this, this is the result. This gorgeous interior was modeled entirely in SketchUp and then brought to life with the rendering plugin. It just goes to show you that with the right add-ons, SketchUp can absolutely produce those high-end, client-ready visuals that will win you projects. Now, this is a huge difference between the two. AutoCAD's libraries are very technical. They're filled with things like manufacturer-specific parts and engineering symbols. SketchUp, on the other hand, has the 3D Warehouse. It's this massive, free online library with millions of models of, well, everything. 
couches, cars, plants, people. It lets designers populate an entire scene in just a few minutes, making it feel lived in without having to model every single object from scratch. It's a game changer. When it comes to collaboration, file formats are absolutely critical. AutoCAD's DWG format is, without a doubt, the industry standard. It's the lingua franca of engineering. Now, SketchUp Pro is really flexible. It can easily import and export DWG files. But here's the crucial warning. You always have to double check those conversions because small errors can sometimes creep in when you're jumping between programs. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. In this final section, we're talking about the really practical stuff. How much do these things cost? What kind of computer do you need to run them? And ultimately, who should be using which tool for which job? So let's talk about the price. Starting with AutoCAD, a full annual subscription is a serious professional investment. It comes in at around $2,000 a year. And that price really reflects its status as a high-precision, no-compromise, industry-standard tool. Now, look at SketchUp Pro. At around $350 a year, the difference is, well, it's pretty stark. And this lower price point opens the door not just for big firms, but for small businesses, freelancers, and even hobbyists. It makes professional-grade 3D modeling incredibly accessible. And it's not just the cost of the software itself. AutoCAD is a much heavier program. As you can see, it generally needs more RAM and more storage space. To run really big, complex AutoCAD projects without any hiccups, you're going to need a more powerful and therefore more expensive computer. SketchUp, by comparison, is pretty lightweight. It'll run just fine on most modern machines. But of course, SketchUp isn't perfect. To be fair, we have to talk about its downsides. The biggest one is its limited precision for high-spec engineering. It also, as we've said, relies heavily on plugins for key features like rendering, and it can sometimes start to chug or have performance issues if you're working with massive, super complex models. So, who should use what? Honestly, the breakdown is pretty clear. AutoCAD is the go-to tool for engineers, technical drafters, and construction professionals. Basically, anyone whose work demands absolute, verifiable precision. SketchUp is the ideal choice for conceptual architects, interior designers, and landscape architects. If your main goal is speed and visualization, SketchUp is your friend. Let's look at how this plays out across a typical project. For those early concepts and massing models, SketchUp is almost always faster. But when it's time to create those precise construction documents, AutoCAD's powerful drafting tools take the lead, no question. And then, for that final client presentation, SketchUp paired with a good rendering plugin can often create those stunning visuals much, much more quickly. So here's the final verdict all boiled down. Choose AutoCAD if your work absolutely demands industry standard precision and you need powerful 2D drafting tools, especially if budget is less of a concern than capability. Choose SketchUp if you need a fast, intuitive tool for 3D concepts and visualization, or if you're a student, a hobbyist, or a professional working with a tighter budget. Ultimately, there is no single better program. There's only the program that's better for you and what you do. In fact, many pros today use both. They'll use SketchUp for early concepts and then switch to AutoCAD for the final documentation. So, now that you've seen the evidence, the question is, which tool wins for your workflow? Let us know what you think.